Hello again adventurers and welcome to the exciting video from Kuchevo in Eastern Serbia. Today we'll be doing some extreme caving with a guide. We'll go three hours through Duboka cave, which before I thought was impossible to do. So let's get into the vlog. Before entering the cave, we're practicing descending down the steep slope because we wanted to do the same in the cave into some holes. We're practicing this with a figure of eight device, which we never used before, but it was really easy to learn and we progressed really quickly. Also experienced that we got such a professional guide that it's also living in Kuchevo, where I would never expect to find guide like this. Alright, so here we are about to enter the cave. As you can see, the cave entrance is really big. It's pretty easy to find, the path is marked, visible, and it's only one kilometer from the end of Dubuka village. The entrance of the cave on the left side there is also a climbing wall with bolts already put in. I think even the easiest route is already pretty difficult. Learning the lead climbing and climbing here in the future is one of our goals. Alright and this is the last time we see the sunshine for about 3 hours when we should come out on the other exit of the cave. We are actually at the entrance of this cave few years ago but for I remember there was a river running through so there must have been lots of rain but right now it was not raining for a longer time so the cave is pretty dry but the guy told us there is gonna be little pools of the water along the way where we would have to either go through them or climb around it. So over here we're climbing on the left wall of the cave because the water was too deep for our wet boots that we were wearing. Our guy had some special socks for wetness so he didn't care to go through the deeper water but we tried to avoid the deep water not to get our feet wet because the water is only about 8 degrees celsius. And after getting our feet wet it will be really uncomfortable to walk through the cave for 3 hours. So at the beginning our guide told us that there is not many stalagmites or stalactites or other formations but sometimes you can see beautiful things like this. For about the first hour of going through the cave, the cave is very high, about 20 meters above our heads. So we didn't feel claustrophobic at all, especially with our strong headlights. And over here we got to a part where there was a deep water, but both sides were pretty steep. And our guy tried to climb around and he actually hurt himself, his fingers, because somebody took out the bolts that used to be in the wall before, which made this climbing much harder. Say they took them out because there are some people looking for gold coming to this cave, but he said there is no gold to be found here. Only this condensation that looks like gold. So after about an hour of going through the higher part of the cave, we got to this crossroad where we want to go first on the left to make a loop through this smaller part where we're gonna see more stalactites and also gonna see some holes. So as you can see the floor of this part of the cave is pretty muddy but it was actually easier to walk through here than the first part of the cave where we had to step over bigger rocks and climb around the pools which took us a lot of time. 
And over here we see this interesting phenomenon. We see this apple seed sprouting. So somebody probably ate apple here. The core decomposed it, but the seeds were able to sprout because there is so much moisture in the air. All right, and after we got back to the crossroad and had lunch, which took another hour, we took the third path at the crossroad on the right, which was similar to the first path. It was also rocky and pretty watery. However, the ceiling was getting much lower, which made us feel a little bit more claustrophobic. And then it happened. We heard something unexpected, a river flowing through the cave. And sure enough, in just 50 meters we got to the river, which was then flowing straight to another tunnel. But even our guy didn't expect the river to be here, he thought it's gonna be completely dried out, like last time he was here. But now this would mean two options for us, either we would turn back and walk for at least another hour and a half, but at least you would stay dry. But we decided to do the second option and be more adventurous, which is just try to walk to the river, which was at this point deep at our knees, but it was going deeper and deeper. And we were just hoping that it's not gonna be too deep so we can make it till the exit of the cave. After about 10 minutes of walking to the river, Sanya started to get pretty cold because the water is only about 8 degrees Celsius. Plus the water was getting pretty deep until our waist, which is pretty hardcore at these temperatures. So our guide was deciding whether we should just turn back from here. And at one point he really suggested just to go back. But when I asked him how much farther is the exit, he said it should be only about 100 or 200 meters away, which should not take more than a few minutes. So at that point I actually took initiative and went through the deepest part and luckily after that it was uh, pretty dry but it was really low ceiling above our head. It was actually so low that our guide thought that at the end we would have to swim because he remembered there is a pool and now when there is a river he was afraid that it would be until the ceiling and would basically have to dive down. But luckily just around the corner we could already feel the breeze from outside and the water was still not too deep to go through and just around the corner we saw the first rays of sunlight coming through the cave. Here on the left side we can see the bigger pool that he was talking about but luckily it was not too deep until the ceiling so we could just walk around on the right side. But I can imagine during the heavier rain this could be completely flooded here. But definitely even walking to the river at this last part of the cave was a very big thrill and edge to this adventure. Mostly it was mentally because we didn't know what to expect. Otherwise it was not a big deal walking through the water for about 20 minutes, especially for me who is used to taking cold showers. And mostly we were happy that we didn't have to go all the way back and managed to get out on the other side. Now we just had to climb out this last wall out of the cave. So here we are looking back at the exit and it definitely doesn't look like there is gonna be a big cave inside. But thanks to our guide we managed to experience this awesome adventure which was definitely a highlight and probably the best adventure so far this year. If not even last year, being in a cave for so long and experiencing the last adventurous part was definitely something special. Also if you come here this second exit is really hard to find, you basically have to walk through the bushes, there is no clear path, unlike the first entrance. Alright adventurers, I hope you enjoyed this amazing adventure of walking 3 hours to Duboka Cave. Stay tuned for more adventures from Serbia and as always, stay healthy and stay adventurous!